Jersey. Previously with Peyton. Yo. Yo. Check out the prettiest girl. Show me her hair. <laughs> Hello, hey house. Look who is here. Ugh. Pull your shorts down just a little bit, Pooh. Congratulations on the new Big P. I know that's right. I'm so happy for you and all of your accomplishments and can't wait to witness even more. Y'all, this from Aaliyah. I love her. Wait. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's weekly vlog and see what's going on. Okay, you guys know that I have been talking about experiencing hair loss for the past six months, right? Um, so I end up finding this company called MD Hair, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so, so much. Um, and what MD Hair is, they get down to the exact root cause of your hair loss, right? They're clinically proven, developed by dermatologists. You get 24-7, one-on-one chat dermatologist support, and they can like fine-tune your formulation. But you get a kit of a slew of products. You get shampoo, conditioner, serum, a supplement to take every day, as well as a collagen that you can mix in your coffee or smoothies, right? So I've been taking this and doing this routine for about three weeks, and today I went and got my my hair freshly braided um, I noticed when I was taking my braids down it was very much less shedding than normal um, even when she combed my hair pre shampoo it was less it was less hair in the ball because usually it's a big old ball of hair and even during the process of like blow drying it detangling my hair just seemed so much more manageable it wasn't as like stringy and like haywire um i did experience less shedding um now typically you will see your results in about two to four months but i am noticing less shedding with this routine how you get started it's super easy you take a quiz and what i like about it is that you have to actually take a picture of your scalp and the AI technology is going to analyze your formulation based on how your scalp looks. So you definitely have to take a very nice, up close, detailed picture of your scalp. If you don't, uh, it will tell you to retake it. Um, but then they'll look at it, analyze your scalp, and base your formulation based on what your scalp looks like. So if you're having any issues, dandruff, dryness, flakiness, psoriasis, all of that, um, they will make a formulation specifically for you. Now, if you're like me and you have been experiencing hair loss, I definitely feel that you need to give MD Hair a try and take the quiz, get your scalp analyzed, and get a customized hair growth treatment with MD Hair. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and use my code Peyton70 for your first month of customized products at 70% off. And thanks again to MD Hair for sponsoring today's video. Open it, big girl. And what you got over there, girlfriend? Oh, boy. <laughs> I love you, Mommy! I love you! <laughs> You're welcome, Karen. So, you have to be responsible. I'm gonna put a limit on it. 
Even though it don't come with one, I'm gonna put a limit on it. You want me to keep it? You want me to hold it for you? Or you gonna put it in your, your car holder? Your wallet? Yeah. Hey, can I just throw that away? Yeah, we gotta activate it. <laughs> activate it? Yeah, we gotta activate your car, but I want you to be responsible, okay? Okay. You still gotta ask me what you wanna buy. You can't just go crazy. Cause I'm looking at everything. <laughs> I still got to pay the bill. I still got, I'm saying I still got to pay the bill, so I'm looking at everything, okay? I want you to be responsible. Okay. This is very important, okay? Okay. You have to be responsible, pay your bills on time. Um. Don't go crazy. If you want to buy something, let me know, ask me. Karen, you are hilarious. You are hilarious. But this is a big deal. It's a big deal. You a big girl. So you still gonna... Yeah, we gotta activate it. Come on, let's go activate it. Woo! Woo! Karen, don't go crazy with it, okay? Okay. Okay. Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Oh boy. I haven't had a cup of coffee in the morning in so long, y'all. But I don't know, today was one of them days where I just felt like I needed it. I woke up at, I think it was like six something this morning. I've been waking up early. Um, the house is almost back to normal, almost. We have a few more DIY projects, but n none like the closet. That office, oh my God. Like I had no idea that it was like that because it's so clean, right? But the, that built-in closet had a lot of mess in it. It had a lot of mess in it. And then, not to mention, just taking all of the things out of the office to move around the house, moving things around. I had to purge a lot of stuff, throw away a lot of stuff, donate a lot of stuff. We still have not even tackled my closet upstairs. Um, so we still got to move all the clothes down to this closet. Um, and I'm going to be purging stuff in conjunction with doing that. So... We are almost back to normal. We are almost back to normal. Um, I called myself moving around the couches yesterday to like feng shui the space, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It's crazy because how I have my living room and everything placed, that's the perfect placement. But I did change the mirror around. I did change the mirror around and I'm gonna put some paneling on the walls and then I have to, um, Re redo that painting so i'm gonna i think what i like about it i'm gonna show you so this painting at the top right here it goes with the color scheme it's that gray down there that i don't like so what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm just gonna take some white paint and go over that gray and it'd be good because the gold i like the gold i just want to go over all the gray and then we can paint, paint or put it on the wall keep it real simple cheers Cause that paint was a hundred dollars at Home Goods. I don't want to mess it up. Trying to be a uh, Van Gogh. Pay no. <laughs> That's not it. This coffee's so good. I see why y'all be drinking it in the morning all the time. I made this pretty damn good. And it's real simple, baby. Coffee and that um, lactose-free milk and sugar. Real simple. I ain't putting none of the little froth in it and making it all cute. I, I ain't had time for that. I ain't had time for that this morning. Baby, I needed, I needed something to tell me to wake up. Because 
I'm up. It's just, I'm starting to get to the point where like, the laziness is coming back because y'all know i've been productive as hell doing all this diy and i don't want to i don't want to put it off because i spot painted so the last part is moving the stuff down and putting up the wild panels and i got the self-adhesive wild panels so i ain't even got to do that much i do think i'm going to have to maybe caulk them and paint them so i do need to get some caulking from home depot and then paint over them and i want to say the paint that i got this is spot paint not the not the right paint it looked you, you could tell where i spot painted it like i can see it i got some good eyes i can see it so i don't know if i got the wrong finish like maybe i should have got like flat or, or matte i think i got flat instead of matte i should have probably got matte I don't know, but I can tell you, I can see you, and it's annoying the shit out of me. I really should have called my people and asked them, hey, what y'all uh, paint the walls with or whatever? Because I want to even say that the walls are a different color from the cabinetry in the doors. Like the trimming around the doors and the doors. I want to say that that's a different color white because it's... Sure. Don't they got like a little thing where you can use your phone and point it to the paint and it tell you what color the paint is? Don't they got that? Because if they don't, they need to have it. Because they got that at Sephora. Uh-huh. Yeah. You could, you, could put your, you could put the camera over your skin and it'll tell you what color foundation you need. Or did I just make that up? Bitch, I think I just made that up. Karen, did you just fall down the steps? <laughs> Karen, please be careful, baby. Please. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Pray for y'all. Pray for. Her. Goofy, just like a mama. I fall up and you fall down. We need to get it together. <laughs> so, I remembered why I don't drink coffee in the morning. This shit is just for decoration. Let's talk about it. I, I am sick to my stomach right now. I feel so bad. Calvin was like, maybe it's old mom. Maybe it's been up there too long. I don't think them K-Pods can um, expire, but <laughs> coffee is a detox. I don't see how y'all do it. I feel absolutely terrible. Stomach flat though, but if you ask me, coffee is like them um, flat tummy teas. Well, I have this sit in the microwave too long. Let's put that back in there. I just had another idea. Do they have an app where you can book shelves? You know how they got an app where you can book massage, masseuse, massage therapists to come and give you a massage at home. Do they have personal shelves? Hey! Didn't I say I was finna do that? Do they have personal shelves where you could do that? Cause man, I would love to do that. I would totally book a personal chef to come and cook for me. On a little convenient little app. No hassle. No, it's kinda like Taz Rabbit. Hell, personal chef should be on Task Rabbit. It's a task. No goodies, y'all. It's the fact that <laughs> y'all. Karen in the Karen in the kitchen like what? What is going on in there? Oh, she's so damn funny. I done sat down and I'm checking my emails and it says, 
Amazon order delivered. And I'm like, well, what the hell done got delivered? It's sitting, it's still sitting where well, I got it now, but it was still sitting there. I should have just jumped up and went and got it. Baby, I had to check and see what I ordered because I literally forgot what I ordered. I have been ordering stuff every day, but why I done ordered a damn podcast microphone, child? Y'all know we're going to be doing these uh, Tipsy Talk Tuesdays lives. So I went and bought me a new mic because this mic has a shortage in it. So if y'all, when y'all, I've, I've only, I only use this mic in the beginning of my videos. I don't know if y'all can tell when I'm doing my voiceovers, I used it. And when I'm doing the previously with Peyton, I used that mic, but it got a shortage in it. So it's plugged up right now, but I would have, I have to wrap this bad boy around this thing for it to turn on. You see how it's still, the, it's supposed to be a green light. It ain't turned on. Oh, see, hold on. You see what the hell I'm talking about? That's why I bought a new one. Cause I'm like, what the hell? So now I can throw this one away. This one can go in the motherfucking trash. So I got the Didi B07U. I watch the channel Think Media. And before I order anything tech, I Google it, right? Well, I look it up on YouTube. I look up podcast mics. So first of all, I went to Best Buy online and i looked up podcast mics and the sh think media talked about three of the best podcast mics or live stream mics this was his this was top two as a matter of fact um that video talking about mics was sponsored by Streamyard. so he showed that like you can add people into the live and actually like see them and talk to them which i want to do because i want it to be like an interactive live where uh almost kind of like a radio show like martin so that's how i want to do tipsy talk tuesdays so i went about this professional mic whatever now this one i got off of amazon and it was 182.94 with the tax um, and as you can see, it's a USB podcast mic. And he spoke very highly of this mic. And I loved his voice. I love how crisp it is. Like, I don't watch podcasts. I'm not a podcast person. But I have noticed people who do podcasts, when they have like a specific type of mic, oh my God, their voice just sounds so soothing. Like, I kind of get why podcast culture is is trending because if you got a good mic like uh what's that boy finesse he he bald headed sometimes he be wearing like the little turban thing he got a really good mic i'm not sure which mic he got because i don't i don't watch his podcast like that but i do know when he pops up in my shorts i will listen to it just because he has a good mic and it makes his voice sound so good like <laughs> like sir Call me. I, I will talk to you on the phone so we can politic. I'm, I'm not saying I like him. I do not have a crush on Finesse. No. He, he, he gives heat very hard on women. I would never. I would never like. Mm -mm. I done already dated a man like him. I, I don't never got to do it again, baby. I done passed that test. Okay, this one real cute. It come with a tripod. Which I feel like they added an extra $25 to it for this. I could have bought this. I could have bought my own tripod for my microphone. I could. Look at it. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a rapper. <laughs> I remember these type of mics when I used to be in a booth. Spoken words, written letters. But to him, I never get them. Don't it seem like we connect when we connect and it's so passionate. Got me wearing feelings on my sleeve like that shit fashionate. And Papa slang that wood, but I'm so good, I gotta ration it. Portions of my potions got me in my emotions. Rich thought process, but real niggas broke. Good intentions, bad religions. I'm ashamed to tell the Pope. Don't y'all just love me? Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hated it. Okay, now where we plug it up at? Baby, I hope it ain't. 
Listen, it's so hot outside. I don't know when they delivered it. But this thing is hot. I hope it ain't messing nothing up on the inside. Look at this. I'm all high tech or whatever, bitch. Stop playing with me, ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all, Karen's such a good kid. I just love her. Like, I really was blessed with a really, really amazing kid. So she got a credit card yesterday, and she was so excited, right? So I go to activate it, and, you know, I made her authorized user on mine. So she got to go, and ain't no limit. But you can, because she's an authorized user, I can put a limit on it and, you know, basically give her a budget. So I'm still, I'm on the website trying to figure out how to put a limit on it because I'm, I'm actually getting a little nervous because I'm like, well, I read that you could put a limit on this card. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, they can't overspend, right? But I couldn't find it. And so I, I literally had to Google how to do it because I'm like, where is it? I'm looking in all of the pages. I couldn't find it. And Cameron goes, well, mom, you can, you know, just put like a hundred dollar limit on it. And I'm looking at her and my heart just dropped because it's like, and she still ain't bought nothing. She still ain't bought nothing. I'm thinking she would have bought something by now, child. She would have already used up her limit. She ain't even bought nothing. She's such a good kid. I just love her. She is such a, she is such a really, really good kid. And I just want to, you know, teach her financial responsibility because, baby, I did not... Cause y'all remember when back in the day they would uh, they would send you the credit card in the mail and all you would have to do? Do y'all remember that? Now, I'm showing my age, but do y'all remember back in the day when we was like 17, 18? When you turned 18, they would send you credit cards in the mail, already in your name, everything, every ready to use. All you would have to do is activate it, and if you activated it, you know what I'm saying? And it came with like two hundred dollars on it. Baby, I maxed that motherfucker out so goddamn fast and never paid it back. Maybe that's why when I checked my credit, it was 16. Because I'm pretty sure my credit was in the 700s when I turned 18. It should have been. But yeah, bad writing bad checks. Like, nobody taught you financial literacy. And I think that, that is definitely something that you should be taught in high school. Like, why isn't that a course? Financial literacy and responsibility. Why isn't that a high school course? Credit usage, credit scores, credit bureaus, how to get something removed, how to not apply for too many things at one time because it make you look bad to creditors. All of that stuff needs to be included in the syllabus of financial literacy because... All right, we about to head to the post office to drop off this camera. Can y'all believe I still have all of this? I still have all of this. Okay, so this is the body. I thought I had another lens, but I couldn't find the other lens. So she gets the, um, I think this is the kit lens. Yeah, this is the kit lens. I could have sworn I bought a 50 millimeter uh, lens as well. And two chargers. And the battery is only comes with one battery, so you gotta buy another battery, sis. But those come with Z battery and the travel bag. Yep, so we're about to go put this in the mail. I should have put it in the mail last weekend, over the weekend, but <sighs> y'all was doing a lot when it came to this house. And I ain't got on nothing. I ain't got on nothing. I got to run some errands. I got to go to Ikea and take some of those lights back because I spent so much money at Ikea, child. I'm definitely not going to uh, just uh, get those to Goodwill because I'm, I'm notorious for buying something. And because I don't like returning stuff, I just give it to Goodwill. Not that. <laughs> Bro, look how dirty my car is. Like, look how dirty my car is. This is a mess. I don't care what nobody say. Baby, Native don't work in the summertime. And they have sponsored a few videos. Baby, Native don't work in the summertime. It does not. Listen, it is not an anti perspirant. It is not. I am sweating. The way I have to check myself. The way I have to check myself when I wear Native. Listen. 
baby we are getting ready to go to the store and get some degree <laughs> men's yeah cuz uh baby I need protection can't nobody be out here smelling like onions now native 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 I was gonna walk over Home Depot, but it's 109 degrees outside. No thanks. Life is good, eh? Car fast as fuck. Ain't got pulled over once while I was acting up. That was $214 worth of products and lights for uh, their return. That was a lot. I told y'all I spent a lot of money when I came here buying all them damn lights. I went overboard. And those damn doors are gonna stay closed most of the damn day. And what I don't like about them, and I bought a whole bunch of batteries, what I don't like about them is that they don't really, they're not really automatic. They're battery operated, and they're really not, like they're motion sensor, but like, when I close the door, they don't go off. You know what I'm saying? Like, if something blocks blocks the sensor, it's supposed to go off. Or if it's dark in the room, it's supposed to go off. So I'm thinking it's gonna be dark in the closet, they should go off. They don't really go off. And the fact that they're battery operated, and they take four batteries. Oh, child, there would be way too many. There would be way too many lights. Cause I hear about like, shit, I think I hear about like 10, 12 lights. Child, that would be 48 batteries to exchange every time. Because they pr the batteries will probably go out all at the same time. That's what I'm thinking. No, ma'am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand down the uh, the paint a little bit. And I'm going to try to re-stick the lights that I already have that I can get off of Amazon for like two for 25 I'm gonna do that so they'll stay stuck because those are motion sensor and um, you can charge them up with like a USB cable so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that because I was talking to Gaia Tana and she was like that's what she did so she was like try that because I've been having trouble with mine sticking she was like sand, sand down the paint a little bit so it'll be rough like when you get your nails done and then try this so I'm gonna try that Y'all, I feel nauseous. That coffee got me nauseous as hell. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning team, good morning team. We are headed to the salon to get our hair washed, treated, and braided down. I just realized I forgot my doggone shampoo and conditioner that I wanted her to use to wash my hair. I'm pretty sure she got good products. It was just for a sponsorship and I wanted to try, um, I wanted to try it out. But I forgot it and can't turn around and get it now, so whatever. <sighs> okay, we are all done. She did not hurt me at all. Y'all know I'm tender headed as hell. I got a nice little tingly feeling to my um to my scalp. Damn, I forgot to pre pre uh condition this car. It's gonna be hot as hell in here. She put this um tingly peppermint oil on my scalp. It's feeling all tingly and clean it's a it's a real neat braid um she didn't hurt me at all like the shampoo was good the blow dry was nice and thorough it felt good the whole procedure felt like i was getting a scalp massage baby i was about to fall asleep i felt my eyes getting heavy the whole time i was in there i was like yes come on i'm coming back so this is out in cop Pale. I want to say Coppell because if I don't say it right, baby, yeah, somebody gonna correct me. Somebody corrected me the other day and told me that I was pronouncing Porsche wrong. And I'm like, I mean, I know how it's pronounced, but everybody says Porsche. It's okay. When I say, hey, Porsche, she still responds to me. So if I was saying it wrong, my car would not respond to me. She would not pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not a big deal. But someone in the comments is going to be triggered by you mispronouncing things. So let me make sure I say Capel uh, is uh, she's all the way out in Capel, which is like 33 minutes away from where I live. But she is so worth it because 
I am so tender headed y'all this is why I have literally been hopping from stylist to stylist to stylist to stylist because I cannot sit in a chair and feel like I'm being tortured it, 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 it it's, it's just too painful for, for, for me it's I'm that tender headed like I be in there like damn near about to cry and then not only that but like these are fresh braids I really want to show them to you but baby this this tan line in this forehead no but it's just so neat you wouldn't even think that they would be as tight as they are by because she was so gentle like but it the braids are neat crisp clean my scalp is clean and fresh it's just she is good so i will leave her information in the description box she is all about healthy hair and hair care she is not one of them like stylists that does wigs and and weaves now she does do tape ins which i definitely want to try um but when it gets cold not in this heat not on duty not on duty okay so we do got one stop to make because karen saw that i got a new apple watch in the mail from a company that sponsored a video that's coming up soon next month and now she want an apple watch shy i need to go pick her up and we go and she charged the the apple watch on her card but i'm paying to be a for it anyway so it really don't damn matter what the hell going on in best buy i walked in like well damn I know I'm in the right place. Listen, it's so hot outside, I want to send the sun and I just feel like ticks. You know, you know what them Texas be. You don't send a nigga, I just feel like, man, I want to send the sun. I just feel like you doing the most. It's 104. When I got out the car, at first it said 107. First of all, you very much up and down. You very much roller coaster. Like, one minute you hot, one minute you cold. Like, I just feel like you want us to experience hell. A little early you know what i'm saying not everybody's going okay i'm going to heaven i just feel like you want me to be musty and stanky all day because like why do it feel like right before you put the pizza in the oven that's what it feel like outside and i love dallas don't get me wrong baby this is where people need to be coming for vacation because this is where the sun is at the sun is outside. The sun do not hide. It's dry heat. The humidity has gone. The, the, the humidity is in Houston now. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about to go back home. It's too hot to be a hot girl, baby. I want to be in a relationship. Shit. But y'all, I smell so good. Guess what I did today? I mixed Dossier's Citrus Tea, which is a um, which is inspired by Le Labo's Te Noir 29. So I put on the Le Labo body lotion, the Dossier version of it, which is citrus tea, on my arms. And then I spray Zerjoff Torino 22 on my back because that one is a bit much for me. So I can't spray it anywhere where it would like linger up to my nose. So I sprayed it on my back and I still smell it. Okay. I put the citrus tea you know on the post points i put the torino 21 behind my kneecap right there because it sweats right there and then i put it on my back because you, you definitely sweat on your back these are very like crispy airy fresh scents not light though both of them pack a punch but they mix very well together so if you have zerjoff torino 21 and taynar 29 or the dossiers version citrus tea combo those together and let me know how you like it because listen i'm riding in big p today and listen to her she be moaning you hear her? i turned on it electric sound it was off at first but now it sound like i'm driving a spaceship it's a sexy bitch okay this is my baby hold on hello Hey, baby. Hey, baby. What's got going? Nothing. To me, hello. Hey. 
Hey, Ma. Hey. So I'm getting ready to head out to brunch with the PayPal. I think I'm going to wear these Fendi glasses. I'm also wearing my Fendi gold um, slides that I never get to wear. And I'm going to wear the Fendi bag too. Okay, so for since today, we're going to do this summer combo that I love so much. I also put on the body oil and the body lotion to Baccarat so we can get a lot more projection. Oh, so good. We ain't got to do too much of this because this, 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 this loud. Okay, and this is the final look. This dress is actually from a PayPal's boutique. Um, I'll have to look and find exactly who, but it's great for this weather because Dallas weather gives vacation weather, okay? And the hair I have linked in the description box because this is this is old hair and all I did was put some mousse on it and it has this really nice wave in it. So super super cute. Alright, so we are here at the Henry, one of my favorite spots. You picked a good spot, girl. I love this place. Yes, I love their short rib. I'm Amarachi, but some know me as Amy. But I'm on YouTube and on Instagram as Amarachi M U A. Nice to meet you guys. She's already a YouTuber, but she's getting into vlogging. And she's nervous, but I'm gonna link her channel in the description box so y'all go over there and show her some love, subscribe, and let her know that this is a safe space. Now why he now why he do me like that? I was just about to grab it and drink. Son of a bitch. No. The short real pot stickers. Oh, y'all gotta get them. So good. Y'all know I love the hand. Y'all know I love this place. Have you vlogged today? I did. Well, not in the nail salon. I vlogged walking to the parking lot to the nail salon. So while cars are parking, I was like, let me see how this feels. And I didn't feel like shy, but I felt like be considerate if it's anyone walking behind you trying not to get them Don't in. think about it. Because you have a deep focus on there. Which is true. Which so, is true. It, like, literally anybody in the background, it, it deep focuses them, focus them, it deep focuses them out yeah. of the frame. Yeah. So, even if they're in the frame, you can't really see you them. Can't see them. Right. Like, they're completely blurred. And that's what I love about that lens. So, this is a lens. It's, it's the camera and the lens working together to make it like a bouquet type of Exactly. Um, exactly. I saw that on a YouTube tutorial in terms of, like, how to configure your camera for vlogging like cinema, cinematic type of filming and they were like to make sure that the focus or like the aperture is yeah. what it is yeah it's set i guess a higher number it gives it more of a focus or if it's a lower number then it's more with the focus even like that i don't yeah. remember what you doing where you at oh, you complain don't say that sipping wine in a row I look too good to be alone. My house clean, poop on, just say.
Y'all, why my garage door act like it, it didn't want to work? I kicked the sensor. Because I don't know if the sensor was off, somebody knocked it, I don't know. But I kicked the sensor and it started working. Sometimes you just have to abuse your shit for it to work. Don't call a maintenance man. Beat the shit out of it. Like when, when the battery dead on your remote and you start hitting it on the on your lap. That move right there. Yeah. It's not as hot outside today as it was these past couple of days. It's in the 90s today. It's 96. Still hot. Oh, shit. I need to take these off. These need to go in the closet. Still hot, but not as hot as it's been. Now I'm about to put me on something. Comfortable. Hey, Pooh. Uh, hey, What's up? I gotta say, y'all know I always gotta share my secrets with y'all, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin today, so I wanted to tell y'all what I did, because I ain't put on no makeup. All right, you know I'm a lashes and lip gloss type of girl, but I am experiencing some um, hormonal breakouts from my acne and tretinoin journey and stuff like that, so I do want to cover up my blemishes that's over here. So, whilst I don't have on um, makeup per se, I did like spot, you know what I'm saying? So, first I put on the Yummy Skin. This is the Blurring Balm Powder by Danessa Myricks. I dabbed my fingers in it and I just went over my blemishes. Noticed that I wasn't getting complete coverage. Forgot I had the Good Apple Skin, and I have this in the shade Tan 066. Dabbed my fingers in that and went over it again, and it completely blended and covered all of my, my acne blemishes and scars. So, these two together, and then I went and put in the Tarte. This is the Breezy Cream Blush. I dabbed my fingers in this as well and just blushed up my cheeks, some lashes, and lip gloss, and that was my look today. So I love no makeup, makeup looks for the summertime because with it being in the hundreds in Dallas, it's just honestly, it is not logical to wear makeup in this heat. Now at night, that's a different story, even though it's still being the hundreds at night here. At night, it's a different story. You can get away with it, especially if you're in the club, on the club lighting, bitch. You just look like a fucking doll. But in the daytime, this sun and this heat in the daytime, it's very unforgiving when it comes to makeup. Unless you just have dry skin. If you're an oily girl, baby, your foundation going to be slip and slide records. It's going to stick to your your um your, your glasses when you're wearing sunglasses and stuff like that. It's just it's just not really a good idea to wear makeup in this heat. So no makeup makeup looks is always ideal um, in the summertime for Dallas. And if you have these two foundations, they may have been pushed back into your collection. Break these two out for some reason. This Burring Balm Powder, Blurring Balm Powder by Danessa Marix sticks really well to the good apple. It almost acts like a primer, if you will. And it just, oh, it's beautiful and it looks so skin like. I'm telling you, you can't even tell that I got on makeup. You can't, like, you can't tell that this area right here is makeup. You cannot, it looks exactly like skin. Like, I look like I got really good skin. So, Definitely try that out if you um, want to do like a brunch look um, and don't want to put on makeup. You'll love it. I guarantee you. Alright, so I went and got Karen an Apple Watch at Best Buy yesterday. And then I also picked up these stick up ring cameras that I can put up around the house so I can like watch the inside of my house while I'm um, away. Um, even when Kyron's at home by herself, I can still like understand, I mean, know what's going on in the house. And it says on the box, you can have a peace of mind to go. So I bought one for outside. <clears throat> I should have bought two for outside and two for in the house. So I'm going to put these up today. And then I also bought a new iMac and wow, this is, this box is huge. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then I also bought 
in iMac. So I'm about to move all of this stuff off my desk and put this iMac up. Um, the reason why I got it is because I have like, child, what is that? Like a, I don't even know. I got a MacBook Pro. It's a 2020 MacBook Pro and I love it, but I want to start using that remotely on the go. And when I'm editing in my office, I'm editing on the iMac just because it has, um, 4.5K resolution as far as on the screen. I think my MacBook Pro only goes up to 1080. Um, so now that I've been filming in 4K, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the quality is different. I haven't been filming in 1080 anymore. I now film in 4K. And whilst it does take a longer time to process and upload to YouTube, the quality of the videos is so, so much better. And I've been watching a lot of like filmmaking, um, videos from like a lot of filmmakers who r recommend filming in recording in 4k and uploading your videos in 4k to give a more cinematic feel to your vlogs um and it really just draws your audience in more they watch longer you have a, a better watch time and things like that and the engagement is better because it almost feels like you're watching a movie or not even a reality show but like a movie or like a show or episode and stuff like that and that's what I want when it comes to my vlogs I just want like the best quality ever so like I do want to be able to tell what the quality looks like it's going to look like once I upload it to YouTube right and I can't when I'm editing on my MacBook um, Pro and also like the speed like when it comes to rendering files it's slower on the MacBook Pro so it's a lot of things when editing that I want to do that the way I edit my MacBook just ain't it ain't fast enough for me so that's another reason why I got the iMac so I can do more things when it comes to editing because I can't tell because editing on my MacBook Pro like I said I love it it's nothing wrong with the MacBook Pro it's just it's not fast enough for the things that I want to do when it comes to editing so I need needed an iMac so that's why I got it and it was pretty affordable honestly uh i did get an open box instead of a brand spanking new one this one was in excellent condition so it's like new i basically got it for like 120 dollars off so i totally could have got a brand new one and just went on and spit the uh the full price on it but i just i just really feel like felt like i got a deal and it was almost like i got 10 percent off which you can't possibly get when it comes to like ordering uh apple product off of anywhere basically so i got open box my macbook pro i also ordered that open box i like getting things open box um especially if it says it's in excellent excellent condition they're gonna inspect it nothing's wrong with it so i mean i haven't had any problems with my macbook pro and i spent like 800 some dollars on it like I want to say I got it in 2021, like right when I started having issues with my 2015 MacBook Pro. And I want to say I sold it or I gave it away. But I used that, that MacBook Pro for years doing YouTube and just work and stuff like that before um, I got to a point where I couldn't update it anymore in reference to like editing and stuff like that. But it was still usable. I just couldn't update it. So... I think I sold it for like $200 anyway you know you can only have a MacBook if I'm not mistaken you can only have a MacBook for 10 years before you can't update it anymore which I feel like it's a complete scam I don't know if it's the same with iMacs I hope not because I do not plan on buying another iMac in another 10 years that just that is crazy that is crazy that you have to replace Apple products every 10 years that's crazy but yeah i'm about to put this together um and the office is almost complete i just have to bring everything that's in the drawers upstairs because everything that's in the closet that's going to be down here is down here so now i just have to bring everything that's in the drawers upstairs down here and then it will be done and we can go ahead and get that video up and live because this vlog has to go live after the closet reveal because of course you just saw me getting ready and showing um the closet in the background so i do not know why my voice sounds raspy i don't know what's going on but i bet not be getting sick i know that fucking much <laughs> Thank you.
So, things that I have to do today. Um, I had got some organizers from Amazon to uh, organize my drawers so I can like put my panties, my bras, and all of it, and it be in like nice little slots. I do not know where that box is, and I, I and I hate that Amazon doesn't take pictures every time they deliver something because child i've been oh, i've been ordering some like every day so i guess they done just got tired of me and they was like shit i'm just gonna drop it off she she'll get it she be at home but i take i look at the picture to verify what the box looked like so i won't like i'll go ahead and open it because sometimes i'll order stuff from amazon baby and it will stay in the box for months and i'd be like damn i forgot i ordered this because i had ordered like a little scrub or for the shower why I just opened that box? That 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 has been in the box for over a year. I verified that they actually delivered it from the picture. Why they didn't take a picture? They didn't take a picture of like two of my packages. So I don't know where they are and I just assumed that I put them in the storage. So I gotta go over to my storage. I wanna go to Home Goods and get a vase for this corner right here in this office because I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna put these two gold vases in storage and get like a, a large cream face. So either I'm gonna go to at home and get one, or nine times I'm gonna go to at home. At home have like real tall bases. I'm gonna go to at home, ouch. And then um, y'all have been on me tough about donating to women's shelters. And you know, I always donate to Goodwill because I grew up on Goodwill. My grandmama was like a really huge thrifter we would we would always go to salvation armies goodwills and any like other local thrift stores like i grew up on the goodwill and thrift stores like that's how i basically had clothes for school because when i was in school we didn't wear um uniforms and stuff like that so goodwill has really just been all i knew and whenever i want to donate something and i'm doing like a closet purge i never think to do um like play-doh's closet first of all play-doh's closet is a fucking scam because you can donate like three four five garbage bags of clothes and they'll give you fifteen dollars it's just not even worth it and so um i always just automatically think to donate my stuff to goodwill because that's what i grew up on but like y'all have been like paying please please i mean i get so many dms every time i'm donating something i get so many comments and so many dms to donate to women's shelters and it's not that i don't want to i just never think to do that you know what i'm saying even as a battered woman myself you know what i'm saying in a domestic violence survivor if you will myself like i didn't 
I didn't know about that when I was going through that type of situation. I didn't know that they had shelters and stuff like that for women. Um, so I just, I, I always just automatically think to donate my stuff to Don Goodwill when I purge. I don't even like do the whole Poshmark thing because I hate going to the grocery, I mean, um, I hate going to the post office. So going back and forth to the post office to and taking pictures and posting it and making captions, that's just too much, y'all. I just be want to throw it in a bin, take it off the hanger, throw it in the bin, and, you know, give it to Goodwill. They give me my little text receipt, and I'm good to go, you know? So that's, that's what I always think to do. It's nothing, like, against women's shelters. Or, but I did look up, because y'all have been on me heavy about donating to a women's shelter instead. I looked up and I found one. I think it's called Genesis and they have a thrift store called Benefit that opens today at 1. So I'm going to this this load that I have, um, I'm going to donate that to the women's shelter. Even though I really don't feel like they'll need it because I'm donating a lot of like club clothes and sandals and stuff that you would wear to the club and purses and you, you know what I'm saying I don't feel like they'll need that type of stuff you know what I'm saying but I'm gonna donate it if, if, if they can use it they can use it if not <sighs> so I got a new package I got a new scent from Twisted Lily this is a blind try and this is gonna be my first Amouage scent. So this is Amouage Purpose. And oh great. This one has the notes on the back of it. So the top notes is bergamot and pink pepper. Frankincense, pomato, berry. And the heart notes is rose, sand, vetiver, sandalwood, papyrus. And the base notes is saffron, suede, mystical, and Akigaila wood. So uh, when I went on, when they told me to pick a new fragrance, because you know I'm partnered with Twisted Lily, and anytime you order anything off of Twisted Lily, with the exception of a few fragrances, fragrance houses like MFK and I think um, there's a few that my coupon code Peyton Ten won't work on. But for the most part. Anytime you order anything off Twisted Lily, you can use my code Peyton10 and get 10% off your order. So when I was on Twisted Lily and they told me to pick out a new scent, I was like, okay. Um, what I like about the website is that you can go, you can click on, and it, there's, a, there's a part on the website where it, it'll say, enter the fragrance that you love most and we'll match you to fragrances that you might like, right? So I put in Baccarat Rouge, of course, because it's a fave. Um, and you just can't go wrong with that one, you know what I'm saying? So this one popped up and it has a lot of notes in it that I love, like vetiver, saffron, um, the papyrus and things like that. So I was like, wow, they put papyrus with saffron and vetiver and rose. I'm excited to smell this one. So let's see if I did good. The box is so pretty. The bottle is huge. So let's give it a whiff. I definitely smell the saffron. We're gonna spray that on the skin. Definitely smell the saffron. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit on the skin for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and tell y'all my thoughts. So give me about 10 minutes to let it like dry down completely and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give y'all uh, my thoughts on it. All right, I'm back with my final thoughts and sadly this is not for me. Wow, the saffron is heavy. It's definitely. A base note the saffron is most definitely a base note and it is strong it is strong it's it's a lot going on you got saffron suede papyrus the papyrus i don't smell the papyrus in here the bergamot the pink pepper frankincense the rose i always say i don't feel like rose and saffron go together in a lot of sense i don't i don't like this one wow 
This is really expensive too. This was like a $360 bottle. I don't like this at all. Let me see if I can mix it with. Let me see if I can mix it with um, the Love Don't Be Shy Au Franche and make it prettier. So I will say, because I don't want this to be a complete waste of a blind try, that spraying the Love Don't Be Shy Au French over it does make it prettier and sweeter. It tones down the saffron and the suede. It does make it more wearable, but I wouldn't want to do that every time I wear this fragrance. And I feel like this is a fall fragrance. It's definitely not a summer fragrance. This will make you nauseous. Um... I, yeah, perfect purpose is just not for me. It's not for me, which is very surprising because I usually love a lot of scents that have saffron, especially saffron and papyrus. So uh, this is surprising that I didn't like this one. But like I said, it's a blind try. Um, I didn't smell a fragrance or a sample before I tried it. Um, I just went off the notes thinking that, okay, if it has saffron in it, vetiver, suede, papyrus, then nine times out of ten, I might like it, but I was wrong. And I'm okay with saying I'm wrong when I'm wrong. And I was wrong. If these are some notes that you like, if you like bold, heavy, in your face scents, then you might like this one. But I do recommend getting a sample of it before you try it. Um, unfortunately, there weren't any reviews on Twisted Lily for this specific fragrance before I, you know, reached out to them and said, okay, I'd like to try this one. First spray, it does kind of put you in the mind of Oud for Greatness, but Oud for Greatness Dry Down is very beautiful. This one is very bold in your face. I don't feel like it's wearable at all for me. So, now, let me wash this off my wrist before I start having more nausea spells. I've been having nausea spells for the past two days. Ever since I drank that coffee and I ain't got time for it. I got stuff I got to do today. When I'm nauseous, it put me down. I can't do nothing. And it ain't nothing on TV to watch. And I ain't, I ain't got no shows I can binge, so having nausea and being down for the day, just not, not ideal for me. I need to be productive. Every time my neighbors let their garage up, it always sounds like somebody letting my garage up. And baby, I'd be ready to tussle. Like, oh! Help! Bitch, I say hello in the house by myself in a minute. You hear me? With the quickness. It's gonna fuck me up if I ever say hello and somebody say hello right back. All I can say is watch the news. Somebody gonna get got in it. it ain't gonna be me. Watch the news. Okay, so first stop, we we're stopping over at Marnie at the North Park Mall. So, Heaven's birthday was last week, and I bought her a morning bag because um, we're going on vacation soon, and I wanted her to have a really cute vacation bag for her birthday, but she didn't like it. So, um, she sent it back to me, and I'm going to, I love it. I love the bag, so I'm going to exchange it for... Um, the only thing is I don't want that color, but I love that bag So I'm gonna exchange it for a color that I want and I'm gonna get her the bag that she wants because she went on the website And actually picked a bag that she likes So I'm gonna get the bag that she wants and if they can't mail it for me Then I'm gonna put that in the mail for her today. Um, so she can have it by Tuesday, but we're not going on vacation to I don't even know but we definitely going on vacation soon and I want her to have a cute vacation bag so yeah, let's let's pop over in here real quick. Y'all, I smell so good. I put on that um that perfume, that little sample. I hope Twisted Lily can send me that one instead because like it smells so good. It smells like a fresh orange, but it's unis. It just smells good. It just it just smells really, really good. Heard about my past, things I used to do. 
games I used to play, the girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind. You think I'm doing wrong? Can I say what is real? You are the only one that taught me. Me talking crazy. I need you all in my space. Okay, so I found the um uh domestic violence uh donation center for um battle women. I found it right. This this thrift store jumping ain't no parking spot now where am i supposed to park so i can donate i have no patience and i hate waiting i'm all about convenience when it comes to donating i just want convenience i don't want to have to go through no hassle and stuff like that so we'll try another time i do this every year i do this twice a year honestly because i've already donated a whole bunch of stuff to good we are already and we doing another car full of stuff um so i do this twice a year so you know i do it another time y'all and and i thank y'all for recommending me to donate to uh, a women's shelter but that women's shelter thrift store baby it's jumping it's jumping so we gonna we about to head to goodwill but anyway, I got me a cute vacation bag. This is my first Marnie bag. I'm going to show it to y'all when I get back to the house. It's so freaking cute and very versatile. Very versatile. Um, he was saying that I probably shouldn't have got that color because it's easy to get dirty. But, you know, I just scotch guard it or whatever and make sure, you know, that I, I try not to get it dirty. But, I mean, it's a, it's a vacation bag, so whatever. I ain't tripping. But it's so cute, y'all. It's so cute. And it wasn't that much. It was like less than a thousand dollars. And I got Heaven um the bag that she wanted. And it's and her bag is super, super cute too. So I can't wait till we go on our trip with our morning bags. It's gonna be so cute. This is gonna be our first trip together. But ever since we met um and how me and heaven found out we were cousins was so funny because i knew that her last name was the same last name as my grandmother's but i never thought to ask her like you know what i'm saying because memphis is so small and then one day she was over my house and we just started talking about it and found out that we was cousins third cousins where am i going i'm listen y'all done sat up here and sidetrack me bit Baby, I'm headed back home. I need to go to... I need to... Oh, wait a minute. I'm, yeah, I'm going the right way. I'm going to Goodwill. This is what the hell I'm trying to do. Let me put this camera down. Bye. All right, so I went to at home and I picked up two faces. I got that one, which is some, the same one I got in Karen's room. So I got that one. They went up on their vases. They, these vases increased by $25 because when I got it, uh last year it was it was i think it was 84.99 now they are 104.99 so they increased 20 dollars and then i also got this one for the office i also got some mulch where that mulch is a mouse i got some mouse so i got this um it's called reindeer mouse white so i'm gonna line the that plant really doesn't fit in there i thought it would but the hole isn't wide enough so um yeah i don't know maybe i can put some stuffing around it to to keep it from moving because it really want to do the shoulder length but i'm gonna put this moss around it and uh i know this shit about to make a mess and see what it's looking like as long as nobody bumps it it should be fine but i definitely need one more bag we'll go do that another day something said see when you, when your first mind tell you to do stuff do it all right, I just got a huge order from Scented Hibiscus. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 candles. And I got a whole bunch of wax melts because my favorite candle out of her whole collection is the Midnight Hour. So I got, I want to say I think I got four of these. 
Y'all, those candles are so good. Those candles are so good. So, I picked up a lot. So, I got a lot of the new ones as well. But Midnight Hour is my absolute favorite. If you like the scent of Gentle Fluidity Go or Zerjoff Cabbage Club, then you will love Midnight Hour. Oh, it make your house smell so good. But I also picked up Chilled Yuzu. That's very, like, florally. Which I don't mind for a home fragrance. Dark peach. Mahogany. Oh, mahogany smells real good. I think I'm about to light this one in my office. That one smells really good. Sweet cocoa. That smells good. Leaching. Rose, this is like really fresh and fruity, uh, floral, fresh and floral. Um, another midnight hour, then we got tea room. Tea room smells really, really pretty. Coco mango, it smells like a mango and coconut. It does, this is good. This is good. And then flower shop. Flower shop is floral, but it's really, really pretty. And I like how she puts the notes on the outside. So, yeah, I get these from... And I like how she puts the notes on the outside. So, you guys can pick these up at scentedhibiscus.com. I will leave the link in the description box. Like I said, my favorite is Midnight Hour. I've already lit one. And I'm about to put mahogany in my office. And I think I want to light another one. Because I like kind of mixing my candle scents. So I think I'm going to mix in the living room area. I'm going to put, let's see here. Hmm. Do we want to do tea room? Because I want to put one in the kitchen too. Maybe dark peach. Dark peach is so pretty. Uh, yeah, we're going to do dark peach. Because I don't want to light all of my midnight hours. Yeah. And she changed the packaging. So you get like a gold top now. And it's a bigger candle. So this candle is 13 ounces. As opposed to the ones previously. Um, it doesn't say. But they were smaller. These are bigger candles now. And I love that I got wax melts of the midnight hour. So, like, I literally would, like, I won't run out of these. I need to get another um, wax melter. But this is what the wax melts look like. I need to get a, a wax melter. I threw the one that I had away. Because I wasn't cleaning it like I should. And I looked up and I wasn't able to get the wax out. So I had to throw it away. Ooh, what you got there, girlfriend? Oh, wow. That is so cute. Ray got you there, my friend Ray. Remember um, the one that came? The guy that came and he got you the roses for prom? Yeah, he got you their purse. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we getting things done now. Next up is painting this painting. Ooh, pick this down to the garage. And I'm up. Take up some space. You're too far away. It's a great. The crackhead that you bought of me that stole my television and my purse is a great. No, my dear, it's not great. Wait. Wait. If it's great, I'm going to jail. No, 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 no. He outside. I just want y'all to see. Look, y'all shot me. It's 
Greg a water jet like that. <laughs> All right, so um, I bought these wall panels off of Etsy. So so cute, and they come in a package. Like, baby, I'm so late to the function when it comes to Etsy. This is my first order off of Etsy, but these are self adhesive wall panels for the wall. So I already spot painted the wall. So. I spot painted the wall, but I moved that mirror, and it's like the wall scuffed up. So I, I got a, I got a spot paint again. But yeah, I got these wall panels. So nice. I actually forgot like which ones I bought though. But um, I need to look on my, look at my order and see which ones I bought because I forget. But yeah, we about to we about to put these on the wall. Well, I'm about to put these on the wall. I think I'm gonna put them on the wall first and then spot paint because I pro I might have to paint these. I'm not sure. But they already come measured and everything. So all I have to do is just peel this back off of the um, panel and stick it on the wall. I wonder. Do I need to sand the wall or will these stick? All right, so I forgot which ones I ordered. Damn, where my Etsy order it? smoked sausage breakfast sandwich with just sausage and mustard because I love it with peaches and oatmeal and then me and Karen Karen both made breakfast today so she has an American breakfast so she got her my grits I got toast sausages and eggs so I pretty much got the same thing sort of but I wanted breakfast sandwiches this morning instead of toast Cause a sausage sandwich, a smoked sausage sandwich, and I'm talking about smoke. I like mine damn near black. Cajun with mustard. Let me tell you, you hit the spot. Especially with some salt and vinegar chips, like that. That for lunch with some Kool-Aid. What flavor? Red. Sets. and at first I had them separated so the tops were all of the tops were together and then all of the bottoms were together um I hated it I don't know why I did that 
Um, I don't know why I separated them. I like rolling them up together. That way I can just grab and go. Um, I just I just put this with the wrong one. Why do I keep doing it? <clears throat> but yeah, making it where I can just grab and go is so much more efficient than putting them, having them separate in two separate drawers. And I'm really hoping that I can put all of them in one drawer. Um, after I fold them and roll them all up, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get them all in one drawer. Because at first they were like in two drawers and I'm really trying to like save space. But I just brought a whole bunch of stuff from the uh, dresser upstairs down here. So I'm putting most of my wardrobe in this closet. It's not going to be much upstairs but like maybe jackets and, and overflow because... Um, this, that built-in closet is almost full. I filled it up. Even after the purge, I, it's still almost full. Um, so, as I continue to shop and, you know, add to my wardrobe, I'm going to continue to purge too, of course, but I'm still going to have to utilize my bedroom closet. But it's, it's so much space in the, like, it's literally nothing in the bedroom closet now. So, I am definitely making more room and space for new stuff. But I really don't be shopping like that unless I have a... Unless I know it's an event coming up, that's when I'll start shopping and I'll buy, you know, a whole bunch of outfits to... Uh, just so I can have options on um, things to wear. See, rolled up just looks so much better. And then I want to show y'all the bag that I got at Marnie. So I told y'all Marnie um, opened their store like two or three weeks ago. So they have a store here in the North Park Mall. Walked in. I fell in love with this bag. They had it in so many different colors. They didn't have this color out on the floor though, right? And when the guy was talking about it, he was like, um you know i like this one but it's easier to get dirty and then it's different like it doesn't have the raw feet like the other ones but when i seen it i was like oh this is so freaking cute perfect right this bag is so doggone cute y'all plus i have a hat to go with it i have a hat to go um like perfect with this with this color so i love it I love it. This bag was $8.95, so definitely in my price range, in my price point. Love that. Um, and you can fit so many things in it. Like, I'm going to try my best not to hoard stuff in this bag, but I'm only going to wear it, like, you know what I'm saying, for certain occasions. So, yeah, this is the bag I got. And I also, while I was in there, I ordered Heaven a different bag because, um, I actually had got her a bag like this and um, she didn't like it so I um, we went in the store and I got this bag and ordered her the bag that she liked so now where shall I put you because you kind of big we'll put you up 